So you've already made up your mind that you want to buy one of the cheapest 22 pistols on the planet. That's when you run across the Jimenez JA-22. Then you look a little longer and you find the Phoenix HP-22A. Which one do you choose? Hopefully we can help you. Stick around. Welcome back crew and today we are going to compare a couple of very cheap American made 22 pistols. We have the uh, Jimenez, 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 however you want to pronounce it, uh, JA-22 and then we have the uh, Phoenix uh, HP-22A. Well, the first thing that we want to do, obviously, is a safety check. So, uh, there's the uh, magazine we see is clear. Chamber is clear. Uh, same on this. We will do a chamber check here. Magazine is clear. Well, let's start out here with uh, some simple measurements. Uh, let's, it's easy to tell that the JA-22 obviously is smaller. We've got a uh, uh, almost right at a 5 inch length on that. And oh, somewhere around 5 and 3 quarters or so. Uh, nearly 6 inch overall length on the uh, HP-22A. As far as height goes, uh, looks like about three and a quarter inch or so there. Uh, we'll go ahead and count that rear sight. Probably about four and a quarter inch, uh, pretty close to it. Now, as far as thickness goes, I'll put them up here together. You can see that they're pretty close to the same, so I'm not going to break out the calipers and get all off into uh, the thickness part. Now I do know you're probably wondering about weight, so let's uh, get that done real quick here. We'll start out with the JA-22. This is a uh, magazine in, but it is unloaded. Uh, looks like about 12 point five, 12 and a half ounces. Yeah, 12 and a half ounces there. And now we'll go to the uh, HP-22A, which is going to be uh, magazine in also unloaded uh, 18.6 so roughly 18 and a half ounces so about six ounces difference there so dimension wise we can see that that ja22 is smaller now obviously in my hand you can really tell that's one thing that is kind of cool about that little pistol and then the hp 22a you can see they're just a uh, just a little bigger now before we go any further, I would like to let you know that uh, up in the top corner there, I'll put a link to some other comparison uh, videos that we've done out there. And want to tell you that on these particular pistols, um, my opinion, they are not for uh, primary use. They are not for target use. They can be an extra little, you know, throw around uh, firearm, uh, the JA-22, for example, has spent some time in a tackle box. The HP-22A, along with the JA-22, spent time in the glove box, toolbox, that sort of thing. Uh, and have fired a lot of 22 shot shells, have manually cycled uh, 22 shot shells to them. Uh, just for varmints to run off varmints and pests and things like that. Uh, they're cheap. Like I said, so far they've worked. Um, you know, ultimately, which one is uh, better for you? <clears throat> Hopefully, once we go through the features, you'll be kind of be able to tell. Now, let's take a look at some of the features on this JA-22. Uh, you'll notice right away, the mag release is on the bottom. A little weird for a lot of people. So, we're going to gonna run through our safety check because I am going to dry fire these once uh, or maybe even twice. So that's something that 
may or may not be appealing to some people. It does have a manual safety, which is kind of cool. Uh, and once you uh, rack this puppy down, it has um, a firing indicator here. This indicates that uh, it is cocked and ready to fire. Uh, it's kind of kind of weird having the little red nubby thing sticking out the back, but a safety feature. I get it. Uh, at that point, you can flip the safety on, and of course, it will not fire. Flip the safety off, and it's a pretty pretty heavy trigger pull. We're not going to weigh it because it's pretty crazy. Uh, another thing about the JA22 is the safety has no relation to the magazine. Everything operates pretty much like a standard uh, firearm, a more expensive firearm. Also, it does not have the magazine safety, meaning you can take the magazine out, rack the slide, it will cock, and it will fire. Now let's take a look at the HP-22A from Phoenix. And uh, just a, a quick look at this, you can see quite a few differences. Uh, it does have an exposed hammer there two safeties which is a little uh, strange of course and uh, the mag release there is is in the uh, most common positioning for a pistol the, uh, the manipulation and the articulation on this thing is very very weird so uh, just like we have been doing we need to go through of course and and uh, we'll verify everything clear but a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, this safety uh, has to be made safe before the magazine will come out. So we got it in the fire position now. Notice can't get the uh, the mag to release. We put it to safe, and it will release. Mag is clear now. The other thing that's weird <laughs> is. Um, we can't get the uh, slide back with the magazine out. So, we've got to put the magazine back in and we figure out that, uh, wait a minute, we can't put the magazine in without pushing the magazine release, which is strange. Then we have to uh, take it off of the mag safe and we're able to then open it and verify we're clear. So, really weird with the uh, with the articulation there on this thing. Another weird thing about this HP-22A is that uh, even if you take the magazine out, um, there's no way to fire it. There's no way to cock the hammer. Uh, that was just a, a half cock. Notice the hammer didn't even go back all the way. So, I mean, there's no way to fire it with the magazine out. Put it all back in. <clears throat> this is a firing pin block safety, so it's on safe now. So we can't take that off. <laughs> so we remember that this safety is off. We now have this safety off, and it should be ready to fire. <laughs> Yes, I know, it is frustrating in case you're wondering. So we verified it clear, uh, again, just like the J22 before it. Not the greatest trigger pull in the world by any means. Again, I haven't had a whole lot of issues out of it, but it takes getting used to because it's got a massive amount of safety features on it. So there you go. I'll let you be the judge in your decisions, but as far as my pick of the two, I'm going to go with the MS JA22 almost every single time. Like I said, the, the features, the function, and the manipulation on the HP22A is just more than I care to deal with for a little, you know, throw around um, tackle box firearm, uh, toolbox firearm, that sort of thing. That said, if you have any questions about either one of these, the uh, Phoenix HP 22A or the MS J22, by all means, throw those uh, questions down in the comment below. I'll do my best to answer those questions and, uh, and we can kind of walk you through whatever we need to.
want to take a moment here at the end of the video to invite you to maybe one of the live streams that we have four nights a week. You can find that schedule down below. Hopefully you found all this informative. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.